We do want to get right to that breaking news. Charges tonight in the case of missing six-year-old Taryn Butler of Mill Creek. The child has been found safe in Oregon. His mother, though, now facing kidnapping and abduction charges. Tonight, we hear from the boy's father. ABC 4's Nicole Newman has been following the story. Nicole. Well, Emily, as anyone can imagine, it's been a stressful nearly five days for Timothy Butler, worrying about his son's whereabouts. Now that Taryn's been found, his father is on his way to bring him home. It's, it's very hectic right now. We just all, all we can think about it is getting to getting to Taryn. Timothy Butler is on his way to Oregon to bring his son Taryn Butler home. We know he's he's confused and, and probably a, a little bit afraid of and and um, you know, we, we just can't wait to hold him again and let him know that he's safe. Unified police say the six year old was taken by his mother, Emily Jolly. It was during a supervised visit on Saturday. Every day was just like so long and they all kind of blurred into each other. For five days, authorities tracked the whereabouts of Emily Taron and another woman named Bonnie Jackson. Investigators caught up with them today, more than 14 hours away. This afternoon, up in Coos Bay County, Oregon, their sheriff's department located the vehicle that we have been searching for all day. The vehicle was a blue 2015 Honda Civic with Utah license plate X371WW. Police say both Jolly and Jackson are associated with an extremist group called Sovereign Citizens. They're both now charged with abduction and kidnapping of a minor and taking him across state lines. Butler says he's unfamiliar with the group and regrets his son was mixed up with it. Unfortunately, um, you know, the Taryn was the one who had to suffer at that. Now, despite Taryn being found safe, Butler says he hasn't been able to talk to him just yet. He knows that he is in state custody and hopes to be reunited with him in Oregon by the morning. In studio, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News.